Whew, y'all, this scalp massage is about to be everything. Hello my beautiful YouTube family, it's Naya Nappy, and I'm back with week five of our Ayurvedic hair challenge. Now this week is all about scalp health, cause y'all having a healthy scalp is essential, essential to having a healthy hair journey. And for this week we're going to be using either my stimulating Ayurvedic hair oil or my scalp relief oil. Now both of these oils are infused with Ayurvedic herbs and I'll first focus on my stimulating Ayurvedic oil. This oil has 10 particular herbs that deal with hair fall, encouraging hair regrowth, as well as dealing with scalp issues like dandruff and certain forms of dermatitis. Now, I specifically then crafted this particular oil called the scalp relief oil with these particular herbs in it that are really, really highlighted for those who are suffering from a dry and itchy scalp, dandruff, and they just can't can't find anything that's bringing them relief this oil delivers the results okay now if you do not have those particular oils I have two oil recipes that you can use actually I have a ton of oil recipes that you can use but today I'm going to highlight two of them and the first one will really target scalp care and it's a video we made before and it is easily made with three tablespoons of Tulsi powder or holy basil powder one tablespoon of neem powder a quarter cup of sweet almond oil, and half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. The next recipe has wonderful herbs that can also help to stimulate hair growth and deal with some hair fall, and that is my burdock root oil. You actually use half a cup of coconut oil. Now you can alternate this out with either baba su oil, and then you'll use a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, and a quarter cup of castor oil. Then we'll be using burdock root, um, ashwagandha, amla, brahmi, and horsetail. Now I'll link that video up top where you can find and make this particular oil so that you can either have one of these two options or maybe you make them both to use during this week. Now I want to just take a pause in this and first just address something that I feel like a lot of people are discussing right now and that is the use of no oils and no butters in in a hair regimen. Now I want you to know that there is nothing wrong if you opt to use no oils or butters in your hair regimen. But just note that oils and butters have a proper place in a hair regimen. It also is about the type of oils that you're using, when you're using them, and how you're using them. In our particular challenge today, we're actually going to be using oils that can penetrate into the hair and deliver nutrients without clogging the pores. That means the oils that have a low comedogenic score, which means they're not going to block any pores and block and prevent moisture from entering our hair strands. Now we're using the oils kind of as the catalyst to get these Ayurvedic herbs and benefits onto our scalp to deal with whatever issues we may be facing. And so I wanted to highlight that point since there seems to be a lot of talk about this right now. Additionally, I want to just highlight three essential oils that are great for stimulating hair growth and that is peppermint oil, lavender oil, and rosemary oil. Now you want to use these essential oils in conjunction with your carrier oils that you make in any of these recipes and so that is the foundation. If you want to know exactly all formulations, again, check out these videos. I also have a video talking about what Ayurvedic oils are best to infuse oils in, how to infuse these oils using either the double boiler method or the sun method. And I recommend if you're going to be using these oils for this week to definitely try the double boiler method so you can get those oils infused and begin using it for this week, okay? All right, so this week we're actually going to be using our oils in conjunction with scalp massages because massaging your scalp actually has just as many benefits as adding oils to your hair. It helps to deliver blood flow and nutrients to the hair follicle, really helping to stimulate that hair growth or deal with any particular scalp issues that you have. All right, so I'm actually going to be using right now my scalp relief oil. My scalp is actually doing very well um, considering the season. Usually in the springtime, I usually have um, eczema flare-ups. My allergies are on one 1,000 right now, but um, I just want to talk about how to use it, when to use it, and also how we'll be using my scalp relief oil down the length of my hair, okay? So I actually just shampooed and cleansed my hair yesterday and I put it into these twists, and that is why my hair is looking nice and healthy and moisturized right now. Now, if you want to oil your hair, this is a great time to do so right after wash day. Again, with this particular oil, I'm going to focus this directly on my scalp, okay? This has a 
This has four additional essential oils that have wonderful benefits for dealing with scalp issues. The first essential oil found in the scalp relief oil is tea tree oil. Now tea tree has been known for its anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties which is great for those who have scalp issues. It helps to minimize dandruff and itchiness. Next up is lavender essential oil. In addition to its wonderful calming effects and its ability to help promote hair growth, it oh. contains antimicrobial properties and may even help to prevent head lice. It also helps to curb skin inflammation, is great for dealing with burns, ulcers, and helps to speed up the wound healing time. All right, you'll learn about the next two oils in the next clip. Now, after you're done oiling your scalp, you wanna make sure you take the pads of your fingers, not your nails, and then you wanna focus on massaging that in, okay? So this week, we're gonna be massaging our scalp daily, every day for the next seven days, and I want you to oil your scalp down at least twice this week. All right, the next essential oil is eucalyptus oil. It contains antimicrobial, antifungal, or bursitol properties known to help stimulate hair follicles, relieve an itchy scalp, and has wonderful anti-dandruff properties, and can relieve head lice. The last essential oil is peppermint oil. We know this is great for improving blood flow to the scalp, also including helping dryness, itchiness, or other scalp issues. It has antimicrobial, insecticidal, anti-inflammatory properties, now, I just want to note that if your scalp gets dry during the week, really just applying more and more oil to your scalp does not do any benefits. So definitely do a refresher. You can usually refresh your hair with either a leave-in conditioner or maybe some type of tea or rose water and make sure you re-moisturize the hair and the scalp and then reapply the oil if your hair is feeling a bit dry. I also want to know that you can use the Ayurvedic oil also down the length of your hair. Now I obviously have my hair um, pinned full back into twists but you want to remember re-moisturize your hair first okay and the wonderful thing about this there is a light emulsifier in this particular product so if you want to add some oil which just will help bind to the hair providing a nice coating for it okay and obviously you can do this with your hair out of the protective style i'm just showing you for this video again my hair is already moisturized for the week but the stimulating ayurvedic oil is also really great to use on the scalp as well as down the length of your hair also, if you're not a fan of using oils on your scalp regularly, I highly recommend trying a hot oil treatment right before wash day so that way the oils don't sit on your scalp for a long period of time, but you can still get some of the benefits. You will put the oil into some warm water and then you will apply that to your hair and put a plastic bag on and let it sit for at least 30 minutes either under some warm heat or a warm towel, and then shampoo your hair as normal. This is also a great way to treat your scalp to get some of those same benefits without maybe leaving the oil on your hair. Okay, you guys, don't forget to use our hashtag on Instagram, N-I-A-N Ayurvedic Challenge. If you're participating, share your posts, what you use this week, as well as comment under this video. You'll be entered to win our giveaway this week, which is my oat and olive twist cream, and that's what I use to do my twists and the resulting twist out, y'all. Crazy definition, really great results. I'm also having a 30% off sale, y'all. It's a celebration of my three-year anniversary of starting Now I Am Nappy, so definitely go get yourself some products right now while the sale is on. And don't forget to share with any of your friends who are learning about Ayurveda and want to introduce oils into their regimen as it's a wonderful start for anybody beginning in their journey. And if you have any questions, don't forget to ask them down below, subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another Tip Tuesday. Bye.